Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Okay, so the question is about water mm -hmm. and um, consuming uh, lots of fruits and vegetables that have water and what are your takes on water intake and also what is your take on these water machines that have, um, uh, what do they have, like alkaline water yeah, and stuff structured like Structured water. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of getting my water from fruits and vegetables. I don't really drink a lot of water. I'll put water in my smoothies, and that might be 20 ounces. And I will have very little water for the rest of the day. Most of my liquid consumption comes in the form of fruit. I really think that's the best form of water to, uh, to consume. Uh, it's been filtered you know, all the way up through the plant. Uh, it's bound with all kinds of nutrients. Um, I think... Uh, Definitely get as much of your water from juicy fruits and vegetables as you can. If you're going to consume water, <clears throat> spring water or clean well water, if you've had your well tested and there's no radon or other dangerous chemicals in there, uh, you definitely want to go with well or spring water. For instance, in Vermont, we've got a really delicious well. It's the most amazing water I've ever tasted. Um, but I still don't drink a lot of it. You know, it's mostly the form of fruit. As far as the alkaline water, structured water, um, all that stuff, antioxidant water, ionized water, um, I hate to say it because I know a lot of people will get mad at me for saying this, <laughs> but it's primarily a marketing ploy. Um, water, structured water doesn't keep its structure long enough to do any good in the body. Um, it holds that structure for a very, very, very short period of time. And unless you had the structured machine, like structuring your esophagus and structuring your stomach and structuring your body uh, as you were consuming that water, then it might stay in that state. But once it's out in the open world and subject to you know radiation from the sun and cosmic radiation and interacting with hydrochloric acid and uh, other ions in the body, uh, it loses its structure very, very quickly and does has no benefit. Uh, secondly, alkaline water can be really problematic uh, and should be taken with caution uh, because essentially what it does is just neutralize your stomach acid uh, and therefore you're not getting any benefit from the alkaline water because the moment it hit the stomach acid it was neutralized and you've now neutralized your stomach acid which is really essential for several different reasons. One being your first line of defense in your immune system. Uh, one of the reasons that we have a high level of acidity in our stomach is to kill bacteria that we consume. Acid denatures protein. Many bacteria and viruses are have a protein coat, that is the outside, and the vast majority of them are quickly denatured by hydrochloric acid in the gut. There are a few bacteria that can actually make it through uh, the, the acid. They've evolved to, to handle uh, intense acids, but most of them can't. So if you're neutralizing that acid, you've weakened your immune system because now these bacteria can pass through the gut unharmed. Secondly, we need acid in the gut to produce intrinsic factor. An intrinsic factor is the carrier mechanism for vitamin B12. So if you're getting vitamin B12 in your diet or you're taking oral vitamin B12, you still need a delivery mechanism, and that is intrinsic factor. Intrinsic factor is produced in the, um, in the presence of hydrochloric acid. If you've neutralized that acid, you've significantly reduced your intrinsic factor production. And even if you're taking B12, you're probably not absorbing it to the degree you think. Uh, thirdly, um, hydrochloric acid is necessary to help denature proteins that we're eating so that our enzymes can break apart those peptide bonds. Uh, you know, people have been told in the raw world that we're eating raw food for the enzymes, but the vast majority of those enzymes are denatured the moment they hit the hydrochloric acid in the gut. And this occurs so that these really tangled knots of protein can be denatured, which simply means unraveled, so that our enzymes can then have access to the peptide bonds to break them apart for digestion. 
So alkaline water, um, really it doesn't pass through the gut without being neutralized, and it causes problems by neutralizing the acid there. Um, and the structured water doesn't stay structured long enough. So most of these things are just really expensive um, gimmicks. Now the benefit of uh, the machines that can change the pH of water is not the alkaline water, it's actually the acid water. By producing an acid water, you can wash your vegetables and your fruits um, and kill a lot of the bacteria on them. So you can actually use the acid version of that water uh, to clean things. But the alkaline water, uh, really gimmicky. You know, people say, oh, you need an alkaline body. Uh, cancer can't survive in an alkaline body. The difference is so slight, like 7 is pH neutral, and it's our blood, our arterial blood, not our venous blood. Our venous blood is actually acidic. Our arterial blood is slightly alkaline, like 7.35. And if it goes to 7.5, you're probably dead. If it goes to 7.2, you're also dead. There's such a tiny, tiny, narrow range that our arterial blood pH can change. And people think they want to over-alkalize it. That would kill you. Your mitochondria are very sensitive to alkalinity, and they die very quickly if the, the pH goes up in alkalinity. Uh, there's so many uh, metabolic and cellular processes that require a very, 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 very tight control of pH, which our body is always balancing. So, you know, people say, oh, my blood is acidic. No, if your blood was acidic, you're probably dead. In fact, you are dead, because if it goes below 7.2, you're dead. So you, your arterial blood never becomes acidic. But what happens is you're, you can actually leach minerals out of your bones. You can leach calcium to help buffer the acidity to keep the blood from going acidic. Yeah, most of these things are just gimmicks. And they're really expensive gimmicks. Um, and there's a lot of people that have spent a lot of money on these uh, machines. And they don't want to believe that they don't work because they've you know, got a lot of money invested. So they're going to fight tooth and nail and deny the science that's out there. You know, to try to make themselves feel better about getting duped. Thanks, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, a controversial so topic. It's a really controversial yeah. topic. Oh, that's good. I, I really like the way you answered that because if the way you answered it just makes so much sense. So anybody that has one of those things, we'll just use it to wash our fruits and vegetables. Yeah, wash your fruits and veggies with it. It's a great, it's a very expensive, you know, method to wash your fruits and veggies, but it's very effective.